Hello, everyone. Today we want to discuss, uh, you know, not losing hope and being happy when, especially when you're feeling stuck in life or, you know, you're trying to travel that road to, to success and things along the way just kind of uh, get in your way. And so let's move on and talk about losing hope while you're traveling on that path to success and reaching your goals and being happy all the way along the way. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me in another audio podcast here. I call it a podcast. Uh, uh, often it's a webinar, but today it's kind of in a podcast type of uh, atmosphere. But here's why highly effective people are walking their way in their, the path to success, and they understand while they're walking that way what it takes to, you know, for being happy no matter what happens. So, what is traveling an avenue to success all about? Well, I mean, if you're feeling stuck in life and losing hope, you may rise above the all those life adversities and have a strong path to success. But I don't mean to be like a cheerleader here today. So, you know, don't get me wrong. But being happy and also feeling satisfied in life is absolutely does lead to lead us to defining success on our very own terms. Okay, when I said I don't want to be like a cheerleader, I don't want to be today like, yes, you can do it, yes, you can do it, rah, rah, rah. No, that's not what this webcast is about. But don't you agree that this is a part of the road to success while, when you're living on your own terms? You want to be satisfied instead of losing hope. However, you don't, you just, do you understand exactly how is what I'm trying to say. I mean, take into consideration even more to understand why things like for social or spiritual things that come in your way, such as ourselves getting power, eminence, and all the other uh, things that are not enough that we're confused about. Sometimes we get confused over our spirituality, and I will call that kind of like spiritual animals getting in our way. But our focus is on happy living with intrinsic self or we could say more spiritual, heartfelt virtues is what I mean by intrinsic. Yes, it really, that's the most effective method to understand your happiness while you're traveling that road to, to success. And like my old friend Wayne Dyer had said, you know, sometimes we get to start thinking that, you know, hey, we're done with striving. Now it's time to be arriving. And that really is, if you if you look at that, means a lot. But I suggest desirable, rightful thoughts and understandings, development, and you know, for greater pr perspectives about where you really want to go. And what I mean as a result, for example, having high assumptions, you know, power of choices, and also totally expanding beliefs without losing hope. So consider this spiritual esoteric lesson i'd like to say esoteric if you understand that that's a, a a deep word and it really means it's not really spiritual but esoteric i can say is really something from the heart from the inner core let's consider this spiritual esoteric lesson from a course in miracles that i am just truly fond over but the course in miracles states you are the dreamer of your life dream, and you choose the characters and results of the dream. You know, in my first book of the ever-developing series that's that's going on now, by the way, book four has just been released. But in my first book, I call it the pilot of the series, is, is titled The Master of Everything, and it's a story of mankind as well as the, the world of illusion that we call life. And it's all about where fulfillment exists is is deeply within you and we, we explore that through that book and i've had many people tell me it's a page turner and i thank those for telling me that and uh, but let's go on and say why certainly lots of people disappoint themselves about their own success goals well in this three-day webinar slash seminar type of deal uh transformation seminar that that, that we had held recently, we, we reviewed several major problems that are brought on by living, you know, and also kind of concrete problems that people have. Uh, frequently, I want to say that 
you know, that we had talked about that we stress and get our anxiety levels up, that we're just freaking out and, you know, it's, it, it, over not reaching our goals and, and it, it, it just gets in our way. And what I mean really, again, is typically disturbing as well as destabilizing change in our life and we have to make change sometimes it's necessary hard difficult change is sometimes necessary for ultimately being happy happy so through a through that uh, through another uh transformation seminar that i attended actually it was a three-day conference in eureka springs arkansas i i lectured on effective life satisfaction i want to say you know we like to say personal development self-growth but i just like to say satisfaction where we're satisfied with where we're going on that path to success well i was discussing my my book series that at that time the fourth book wasn't out yet and uh it, and i explained to people it was about discovering your inner psyche so to speak for happiness and and success and love in your life by the way before i go on remember another course in miracles uh lesson that also states and, and in my own way the way i take it from this lesson from a course of miracles is that god provides you only joy therefore the feature he gave you to be happy in your life means that he gave it to you because he is happy and god wants you to be as happy as he is in heaven god all there is is happiness and i hope that makes sense so why do we not uh, why can't we be happy well that's because much of life really feels kind of insufficient to us like like it's not giving us what we need or we're lacking and we're caught up in a trivia so to speak you know but a lot of people fear that life is passing them by and you know there ought to be don't you think a lot more to life than this uh, however when you ask on your own what's missing out how do you respond to that question now just as well that really feels uh kind of in me through some frustrations that i went through if you know my story and i don't want to get into that now but wow did i have to go through some terrible terrible frustrations to to finally decide that you know this is the, i'm traveling along my path to success and, being happy and and I hope that those I hope you're getting my getting that tone for me through this webcast today but undoubtedly being happy re really suggests and eh, advises or recommends I could say that those individuals doing the best they can are are really happy with their careers and they just are excited to look deeper just like I'm excited to look deeper and I get excited just talking to you right here and uh, through this webcast, and I have videos too uh, here at YouTube that you're listening to. And I, but I, sometimes I just prefer to to talk as as though it's just a, 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 a an audio webcast because it it feels as though I'm I'm not rushed. And the video in a video when I do, I've got to you've got to stick to a script and you've got to get through it uh, because it's uh, it just video is different. It just like how some people like TV versus radio news, you know. But anyways, get off of that. Furthermore, um, being nervous that life is passing you by just isn't the way to go. By the way, keep in mind too that in the description area down below here at YouTube, I'm I'm offering a link that is a leads you to a great online course helping people uh, not to lose hope and live their passion and reach their goals. And it's 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 really a, a great online course uh, that I suggest that has helped so many and people have uh, gotten back to me and telling me that the, the, they were glad that I recommended that it's through a colleague of mine but think about Viktor Frankl the guy that spent time uh, during the Holocaust back in the you know in those days and Viktor Frankl wrote the book of course I'm sure you know of him but he uh, telling about that story and how he got through it Viktor Frankl provided us a lot of I say significant understanding on the will to make it through the will the true free will to make it through and find happiness constantly even through all that he was going through and i can relate to that too because again those of you that know my story know that uh um 
that's really how I got through the ordeal I had to go to. But, you know, this approach was first conceived, I want to say, too, by, by uh, Paul in the New Testament. I mean, you know, we might, I, I want to say, we can claim that Paul in the, in the New Testament is the world's first psychologist. And I think that's good. But let's, let's go on to say that our emphasis is on being happy via spiritual values, as well as not losing hope, especially when you're stuck in life. And we have actually likewise found that the number of people are mostly likely to merely obtain uh, fortunate uh, stress in their lives if they, if they continue to honor stress. Uh, you know, let me, some of my other favorite uh, authors from, uh, the, uh, from the Bible, Thomas Aquinas and Francis of Assisi, you know, centuries ago, they indicated that uh, spiritual healing or spiritual recovery, whatever you want to call, for all of us is easy to recognize. And it does, and when we talk about, I'm not getting into the spiritual slant here, but uh, when we talk about spiritual, I'm talking about that esoteric thing that I'd mentioned a little bit ago. In your heart, where you really know what it is you want to do and that nothing's going to stop you. So uh, let's move on and let me say that and before I close, because this is, this is not going to be a lengthy deal today, but it's all about live happy and healthy, of course, and become constantly, you know, filled with joy and inner bliss, I like to use, as a byproduct of our responsible decisions that we make in life. And you know, we, and I also have to add another, because we're thinking here too, it comes to my mind real quick. We've, I've learned a lot and you may have known of, of the late Wayne Dyer and, and even uh, Abraham Maslow, who Wayne Dyer says that he has followed and uh, kind of took the, uh, the, uh, the, the reins of Maslow and when he was writing his books and preceded him, but countless other two modern day psychological psychologists and spiritual uh, gurus, leaders, or esoteric, I could say, that they taught us. And th th the psyche, really the esoteric inner core to us does prevail constantly. So I, I refer to these people because they all know something that we all know, but all we have to do is bring it forth in our lives. So in closing, if this makes sense, this was designed, designed just to give you some food for thought. And so many people are left asking themselves exactly how they can find consistent contentment, I will say. Not necessarily bliss, but just consistent contentment. You know, wouldn't it be nice just to be content all the time? Well, these individuals and so many more too along the way um, have learned how to, everyday people learn how to just be truly happy with no matter what's happening. So by the way, uh, I'm also going to post in the description area down below here at YouTube an article that I suggest at my blog called Getting Over the Confusion When You're Seeking Hope for a Better Life. So I, that will take you to my safe and secure blog at my website. And I hope that you'll check that out. And of course, I'll have a link in the description area down below too, as far as how to uh, by the way, my books are published by Ozark Mountain Publishing Company, a mainstream publisher who I have just such a great relationship with. and They are just wonderful people. And my books continue. Book five is being worked on right now. So just keep that in mind. But though all four books are out, you'll be able to see that at where I'm providing to you. You always come to my website, jamesnussbomber.com. And today was as easy going as I could make it. And I wish the best for you. And I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life and all the natural, natural beauty that is within you. That esoteric value, we can say. I guess we can say esoteric means you know, but you can't explain it. You know what it is, but you just can't explain it. So try to hang on to that uh, esoteric value that's within you. And don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. Hang on to it know that if you know what it is, but you can't explain it, that means you've started a miracle in your life, I like to say, where you can continue on that path to success and be happy all the way along the way, no matter what happens. Hey, until next time, James Nussbaumer signing off. Thank you and God bless.